Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode How are you guys doing today? I broke something <laughs> How's life? The question is, where did it fall? I only got one Last episode we got the wand of animation and I thought we start today's episode by trying to get the transmutation table Because in the comments of the previous episode you guys have been telling me that instead of making another energy condenser mark 1 and upgrading it to mark 2 I can just make this and teach it the recipe and duplicate it and I like that thank you so much it seems that we have everything we are going to need that is dust okay that's fine except the insanium ingots so I need to fight the guardian of Gaia several times and then I'll be right back oh we have only 18 that's not good so I'm extremely confused how many hearts do I have apparently a lot. Also you guys have been telling me that the reason that mobs can one shot me is because we have killed the wither several times using our draconic evolution mob grinder which acts as a player kill and therefore there is a mod which increases the damage dealt by other mobs based on the number of bosses we have killed. We have killed the wither 150,000 times so um, the damage should be through the roof. So what I'm trying to say is that it doesn't make sense to wear any armor and I just have to live with this until we get the infinity armor and that was a sneaky move. Anyway, let's do the fight. The good thing is he cannot one shot me otherwise this game was unplayable and here is the only part that I have to be very careful so that nobody touches me and he's dead. I have to do this like 20 more times. Oh we got an achievement, slay the guardian of Gaia without wearing any armor. <laughs> okay. That was nice. I never managed to get it. I had a few fights, but unfortunately something is causing me to lose all of my hearts, which is very confusing. Uh, I didn't die. I had to teleport out using the home command, but uh, basically I had to bail out. Anyway, I did not want to use the wand of animation because I thought I'm going to automate everything and then we're going to use the wand of animation. But unfortunately, I have to do it in order to make some uh, guardian of Gaia, whatever it's called. Yes, Gaia blocks. So here's the funny thing. You can make it like this. But if you want to unblock it, you have to use a factorizer. That's sick. The mob farm that we have over here is not providing us with essence because it is using mob grinding utilities and therefore it's just providing us with liquid experience. So we need to start converting that into essence. And for that we're going to need a fluid dictionary converter. We're going to provide this guy with liquid experience and we're going to ask him to provide us with essence. I really have to fill in this hole. <laughs> so we're going to animate you capture you, put you on exact copy and put you inside and add essence. I have to be really careful so that they don't touch me. Well we did get one soul but one bucket of essence is enough in order to give us eight blocks. That is good. You know I actually think I know what is wrong with my hearts. I have too many hearts so it's kind of resetting itself. We remove ten of them. And obviously I have to do the same thing with Insanium, but before I forget, you are Gaia block, so you go there, so that I don't confuse them later on. And again, animate, capture, and you go in. I know this is a very janky setup, but I just need a few blocks. Later on this episode, we're going to automate this completely. Yeah, I think we're done. In the comments of the previous episode someone was asking why don't we just use a normal mob spawner and spawn the animated blocks and here is the answer. Unfortunately you will not get the exact copy that you want so you will get an animated block but he will drop stone. I think. Yeah. So unfortunately this has to be done in a mob duplicator from industrial foregoing. Another question is that now that we have the wand of animation why don't I just make the energy condenser mark 1 and then upgrade it because this was the problem and we don't have this problem, I'm just thinking. In any case, in order to upgrade it to Energy Condenser Mark 2, we are going to need speed upgrades from extra utilities too. And we don't have an enchanter, so we have to make one. Can I just make you? No. Uh oh. What the hell is this? Oh boy. Yes, we're going down the rabbit hole and unfortunately it's not gonna be fun. So after a crazy amount of patterns, can you make me one? No. Oh, I have to craft them. I don't think we're going to need this in very large quantities, so I'm just going to make a bajillion of them. Yeah, actually it was not that bad. So finally, can you make me one? Yes. I need one enchanted book and you can't make it in an enchantment table. Weird. It is perfectly fine. I do have an extra one. 
I generally don't like how this block looks so I'm actually just going to hide it over here because eventually there will be a wall and we will never see it. And I'm going to use mana pylons instead of bookshelves and I think 4 is going to be enough. Yes exactly, when it's covered nobody will know it's there. You need so many patterns in order to make one simple speed upgrade. So now the question is can you make me 10? It's going to take a while but it's okay. Good good, you are working, you're also working and those resonators are also working, very good. We need a bit more GP. I know that using the same meal over and over again causes diminishing returns but this is literally the easiest one and you just have to put a dragon egg on top. And we have plenty, so let us try and make the transmutation table. You know at this point in the game you would expect that things are going to be slightly more challenging but uh, so far it's not that difficult. Okay, I just increased our GP to almost 1000 and I think that should be more than enough. Actually, I will take it back because one 5 times compressed dust is 59,000 dust. That's a lot. We are also going to need 4 magenta. That's a lot. 4 pink and 4 purple matter. We are also going to make a copy of our philosopher's stone just in case. That's too many. Yeah, we just keep a few. And I'm thinking this guy has to be charged up, but I don't know the key binding. The default key was V and I'm guessing it will not work. So I just changed it to something else and now it should work. And it's charged up and the recipe does not work. What did I do wrong? Oh, that's Kellen. My bad. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the transmutation table. So I don't know where to put it for now. We're going to put it here. I'm also not going to try and teach him every single recipe, I'm just going to teach him a few. Also my biscuits. And if I give you EMC, I can have a lot of these. I was checking the recipe on the transmutation tablet as well and it seems that it is something that we can afford this episode. The only problem is that it's going to require ultimate ingots which is going to require crystal matrix ingots and it is going to require crystal time ingots. We have these and I can make a block. But we do not have the volcanic ingot and I have to go to Jupiter apparently. So maybe we will do this next episode and we try to stay focused and you go back. And our focus is Energy Condenser Mark II. It is called Dull Crystal. What a fitting name. Oh, we're going to require 6 times compressed obsidian. That has 34 million EMC. So we are going to try and go cheaty on this. We will do this and then we just upgrade it here and we copy it again. And you guys get the gist. And this is 6 times compressed obsidian. Oh, this is expensive. <laughs> It's very expensive. And this is basically going to be our source of EMC. We have to compress it two more times so that we will reach eight times compressed obsidian and then we're done. So I'm just going to let this guy run for a while so that whenever we want to make it, it's not going to be a challenge. And if I'm not wrong, energy condenser mark two. And you're going to learn that. So now that we have a few bits of compressed obsidian, let us try to make the eight times compressed obsidian. This is 306 million EMC, okay. <laughs> Look how fast it's consuming. But it is perfectly okay because I have been prepared. I made a lot of blue matters and they contain a lot of EMC. And this is 8 times compressed obsidian, 2.7 billion EMC. And we just make a few copies just in case. There is no need to panic, I just don't know where is my wand of animation. Oh it's here, I'm just blind. One thing that I'm not sure about is that can we animate this guy? That's my main question. Oh yeah, we can! Very good. Come here. I'm holding 22 billion EMC in my hand. Hello. I just want to see how many of the matters can we make. So we did manage to make the lime matter. Let us see if we can make yellow and orange. Yellow matter and orange matter. One tier higher than orange is white matter, which is 87 billion EMC. But I actually want to try it. I know that this is a very stupid method, but I just want to try. Manually, it does not make sense to go higher than this, but we do have a white matter. The final matter that we need to make is called fading matter and it has a quarter of a trillion EMC. So I'm not going to do that manually. We will set up the farm and then we will do that. We have the energy condenser mark 2, we do have the wand of animation and now what we have to do is to generate an insane amount of EMC. We are going to use the 8 times compressed obsidian because that will give us 2.7 billion EMC. And therefore we are not going to use the octuple compressed cobblestone which gives us only 43 million or the nether rack which gives us 43 million or even the sugar cane which gives us only 1.4 billion because this guy is still much better. Last episode I asked you guys how many mob duplicators am I going to need in order to spawn obsidian and the numbers were very interesting starting from one 
going up to 64, going up to 69, and also 128. 128 would be an ideal number, but the problem is we should be realistic, because there is no way I can provide that thing with essence, and there is no way that we would be able to have that many mobs in the game because there is a mob cap anyway. But now we should pay attention to some of the numbers. An 8x compressed obsidian is going to give us 2.7 billion EMC. A fading matter, which we need a lot of, is going to cost us 262 billion EMC, so almost a hundred of the 8x compressed obsidian. There is an item in the game, which is called Colossal Star Omega, which is going to cost us 422 trillion EMC. And yes, I just noticed that my spelling of Colossal is wrong. So why are we going to need this colossal star? Well, we're going to need 8 of them in order to make the final star shard. And we're going to need 4 of them in order to make the chaos plank. And that is the number. It's quadrillion. Basically what all of that mumbo jumbo means is that you're going to need 6 million 8 times compressed obsidian in order to make 4 of these. Almost. So we need a system that basically spawns 6 million mobs. Hi. And in case you're curious, no, I cannot make a dimension out of that. And I cannot break this. <laughs> okay. I can convert it. And kill it. In any case, we should start somewhere. And I was thinking that we start by generating essence. We're going to need the essence in order to spawn the mobs in the mob duplicators. And we get it from either essence of knowledge or liquid XP. Essence of knowledge seems to be reasonable because we just have to melt solidified experience from actually additions in a magma crucible and that will give us 160 milli buckets and that's enough for one mob so if we have a lot of magma crucibles and these guys have emc we should be able to get enough essence and i'm not sure how many magma crucibles am i going to need and it does not have emc nice i wanted to make some hardened glass i think i made too many so can we start with one stack Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay uh, yeah, I'll be right back. So can you make 64 now? Yes, very good. But crafting is really fast. <laughs> this is the best part. So as it turns out, you don't actually need 64 of these because they work super fast. <laughs> they work crazy fast. I think you can get away with like 10 of them. But I made 64, so I'm using 64. Another problem that I faced is that you cannot use an ultimate logistical transporter and set it to extract because it will just fill in one of these guys. They keep getting empty and you know, <laughs> you need to set it on round robin. So I'm using logistical sorters from mechanism which we tried to use uh, previously in our mob farm and that didn't go so well. But we put it here and we set it to round robin. And then you just have to turn them on. You see? It works. This is nice. I'm not sure if four of these guys are going to be enough because they have a limit and I think it's one bucket per second which is not so good. <laughs> but just out of curiosity I want to also use a dynamic tank from mechanism because it looks cool and also I want to see how much essence we are generating. And we just need to complete this structure and we have essence. That's a lot. That's already like 1500 buckets. Okay, because the ultimate mechanical pipes also have a huge inventory. So if I stand here, you should be able to see it. No. Yeah, you can see it here. Yeah, you see there is a limit of 100 millibuckets per tick. But we have four of them. That should be enough, right? Also, I am aware that this looks very weird, but I'm going to make a distillation tower out of it. Don't you worry. Oh, and by the way, this red print from Thermal Expansion is like your conduit probe, but it works with machines. I want to use our mystical agriculture area in order to spawn the mobs and I do not want to have any FPS problems. So this area should be nice and we also have this structure which should work fine. Uh, we do have mob mashers down there which have smite which is not going to be a problem because animated blocks have very low health so if they touch it they'll be dead anyway. I just have to set the filters correctly and set up the spawners. So let me get a few items then I'll be right back. Oh and by the way I do not think that mob duplicators from industrial foregoing will cause any problems with chunk loading because that one required us to be nearby. These ones don't as long as the chunk is loaded. Don't crash. It didn't crash. We're fine. 
Oh, and also I'm going to start with 20 of them. Later on we might go up to 64, but I'm going to start with 20. We have essence, we have power, and I have prepared some stuff in order to do the filtering. We have 20 mob duplicators which are fully upgraded and they have a range add-on of 3 so that uh, they don't spawn outside we want them inside. I put all of them on exact copy and the reason that we are starting only with 20 is that I want to see how it goes so that if I want to improve on this I will know what to improve. For instance if mobs get stuck somewhere we don't have to remove 64 of these we just have to remove 20 and it's an easier job. So think of it as a trial version. And I did make filters for the item collectors so that I don't make the same mistake. So thank you for the tip that you gave me last time because it is going to be extremely useful. So I am blacklisting the trash can and then we will whitelist it on an ender chest. Actually not an ender chest on the crafters because I am going to craft it down twice. The reason that I'm going to break this guy down twice into six times compressed obsidian is relatively easy. We are going to have a lot of energy condensers around our base and we have to fill it in. And it will be a huge waste if we just put the 8 times compressed obsidian because most of the items that I'm going to duplicate don't have that much EMC value. For instance, if I want to make the emerald singularity, a block of emerald is 150,000 EMC and the 6 times compressed obsidian is 34 million. So basically what I'm trying to say is that if we use this guy, we will not waste that much EMC just sitting in our energy condensers. And that's it. So now comes the fun part. I have to spawn the mobs and they can one shot me and I need to capture them. That is the wrong one. No, 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 no. Exact copy. Thank you. It's not going that bad. If they touch me, I'm dead. <laughs> I think. So I'm not sure how many I've got, but I have a few. So we'll put them inside and then I'll go refill. Oh, and by the way, I was thinking that we put a very small buffer over here for the obsidian. I need speed upgrade. Because basically I do not want to have a backlog of items. I gave it a void upgrade and also the maximum number of uh, storage upgrades. I need 10 more. And this is so nice, they're walking around the base. So I'm going to connect them to the energy crystal, but the energy crystal does not have any power, so that they don't get spawned and they don't kill me. We have 24 links, 20 is for the spawners and 4 of them is for the crafters. So if we connect them, this should work, hopefully, maybe, holy. <laughs> they are not dying instantly and that is not very good. Yeah, maybe I'm actually going to need sharpness. Maybe. And I also need more conduits over there because they are not keeping up. Actually, I'm not sure. Am I complaining too much? Because it seems to be keeping up. I will put sharpness, but it's keeping up. Okay, let's do something. We're going to let it run for a while. And then we'll go to the base, try to make some matters and see how it goes. The most expensive matter that we have is white matter. So let us try and duplicate this guy. Holy. <laughs> yeah, I did not say it's going to be cheap. It's not cheap, but honestly, I already have four. Five. So I can make the fading matter. Haha, <laughs> that's not a quest. Oh, it is. Cool. You learn this, just in case. And for the moment, you copy it. And you are no longer my best achievement. You are. It's not visible. So this has been running all this time and I do not see any problems. Apart from these guys. We need more conduits. I added more speed upgrades, I added more conduits, and now we're keeping up. But I don't think I'm actually going to increase the number of spawners because we already have almost 300,000 blocks. Look how fast it's going up. It's going up thousand by thousand. So yeah, I'm actually happy with this. 20 is more than enough. As a person who's generating billions of EMC, I'm tired of crafting speed upgrades. I'm just saying. And I'm perfectly okay by trashing them all. I can see the trash in the middle. Uh oh, that is not good. Okay, it's fine now. I added another trash can in the center, so we should be okay. And it's not connected to those, so don't you worry. Although our setup is incredibly rudimentary and stupid, we have 26 fading matter, and that's the speed that we can make it. And although I'm not even extracting at maximum speed, I could have used dislocators. Let's ignore that. It works fine. It's perfect. I will change that later on. And I have to kill that. Yeah, I could have easily used the translocator. I should do that. For some reason that I do not understand at all, translocators are not working with these guys. So we're going to use conduits. I am extremely confused. The translocators are working with the drawer and the ender chest, but they are not working with the crafters. So I'm just using conduits. It's keeping up, so it's not going to be a huge issue. But if we want to go crazy, we can do it here. Look. 
This is so nice. I thought if I add one more ender chest, we will go at super crazy speed, but unfortunately, this seems to be the maximum speed. It's not bad. We almost have one stack. And we just hit almost 17 trillion EMC. Very good. It seems that without changing the structure itself, we would be able to add 16 more spawners. And that is something that we will do next episode because the spawners themselves do not have EMC and I do not have the material to make them. And I have to collect those. So we will do that next episode. But then we will have 36 spawners in order to make EMC. And the good part is that we're keeping up with the essence production. Of course, we are also going to need additional spawners in order to make Insanium, Supremium, Infinity Blocks, Awakened Draconium, and basically anything which is a block and does not have an EMC. So we're going to need a lot of mob duplicators. And in case you're wondering, we have almost 200 of these, which is very good. Anyway, guys, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, bye bye.